schools on the Big Island are open for now. President Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani says the president hasn't ruled out invoking his Fifth Amendment rights if questioned by special counsel Robert Mueller in the Russia investigation. In a tweet this morning, the president once again referred to the investigation as a witch hunt. Angelica Alvarez has the latest from the White House. President Trump tweeted this morning that what he calls the Russia witch hunt is rapidly losing credibility, adding there is no O as an obstruction. It's called fighting back. The tweet comes a day after the president's lawyer said on ABC's This Week that it would be a risk for the president to be questioned by special counsel Robert Mueller. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani was asked if he was confident that the president wouldn't invoke his Fifth Amendment rights if questioned in the Russia investigation. Oh, how could I ever be confident of that? Uh, when, I, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm facing a situation with the president and all the other lawyers are, in which every lawyer in America thinks he'd be a fool to testify, I've got a client who wants to testify. Giuliani also suggested that Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohen, may have paid hush money on behalf of Mr. Trump to other women, in addition to adult film star Stormy Daniels. I would think if it was necessary, yes. Michael Cohen takes care of situations like this, then gets paid for them sometimes. Giuliani insists the payment was an expenditure, not a campaign contribution. Still, his comments have legal experts concerned. The approach last week of the Trump team plays into the hands of Mueller's tactic. In another tweet this morning, the president accused Democrats of intending to drag out the investigation so that it wrongfully impacts the midterm elections. Angelica Alvarez, CBS News, the White House. President Trump also urged West Virginia voters to reject Don Blankenship in tomorrow's Republican Senate primary. In a tweet, he said Blankenship, who is running for Senate, can't win the general election. The former coal executive was convicted and served jail time in connection with the 2010 Upper Big Branch mine disaster that killed 29 miners.